Fancy lad. Fancy lad. Fancy Podcast lad. Fancy lad. Fancy Podcast. Lad. Gonna talk to my friends. Fancy gonna share a lad. thought. Gonna have a laugh. Fancy That's what I thought. Lad. Fancy lad. Fancy, Fancy lad. Podcast. Fancy lad. Fancy, Fancy lad. lad. Podcast. Uh, yeah. Hi, this is Big. Thank you for tuning into the Fancy Lad Podcast. God. And we're back to the Fancy Lad Podcast. With our very special guest and longtime friend Marty McHugh. Yeah. Woo. The guy is a genius, I'll tell you. He's he was here for the uh, inception of Fancy Lad. Yeah. yeah. He didn't know it was gonna be a phenomenon. Yeah, I know. I guess I didn't know it was gonna be a phenomenon. It turned out to be. Yeah. Um but just to keep everyone uh, oh well let's introduce all the other guests here. Uh Jack Rodolfer. Yep. Signing in. Be quiet. In the podcast, Jack. John. Reporting for duty, sir. Clancy. Yes. Same person, if you didn't know. Joe Abe Clancy. Dubin. Thanks. Hey, what's up, America? And the rest of the world. Mm-hmm. Nice. Yeah. Special, uh, not, not so special, regular favorite on the podcast, Tom Tweak, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, hello. He is my favorite on I've the always, podcast. I've always known him. <laughs> He's my favorite. So <laughs> In a yeah. way, Tom Tweak is your Andy Richter, you know? Yeah. Mm. I always thought it's it more of my uh, Glenn Humplick. Oh, what oh. the fuck? I don't even yes. get that reference. <laughs> okay. Uh, we got some youngsters here in the crowd. <laughs> and uh, Tony DeRosa, who may be in and out. You won't know because he's silent but deadly. Hell yeah, Tony. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Nice. <laughs> Blink this doesn't work. And on the mic, we got big, I hit my head Murray. People. That's Air right. quotations on that. <laughs> Coined by Jack Rodolfer. <laughs> Funny story about that. It's actually because I uh, hit my head. Murray. Yeah. 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 Skateboarding. Yeah. Doing that trick at the skate park that all the 12 year olds do. That I see them doing. Acid drop. No, 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 no. It's a glorified <laughs> kick turn on a uh, quarter pipe. You know, the old slash grind. Mm. Oh, mm. my God. Oh, yeah, slasher. Mm -hmm. It's a bummer, dude. Kids? They can slash? That's when I knew I was, I'm 20 years old. Hitting my yeah. head, hitting my head, skating. The, I mean, I've been Wait. skating for twenty years. That's okay. what I meant to say. I was gonna say, I was gonna say oh, twenty years of hitting here. my head. In skating. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Right, right, right. Okay. <laughs> and uh, hitting my head on the small bowl of the skate park. Mm. I'm looking at Dane Berman, Aaron over the mega ramp without a helmet. I'm looking at Ben Rayborn skating the vert ramp without a helmet. Yeah. And I think, what did I do wrong, Marty? Is it because I didn't drop in on that vert ramp growing up? Yes. See, I told you, ladies and gentlemen, this man's a genius. <laughs> <laughs> so Jack left, yeah, but talking? while he's gone, let me just say, I made him turn off the Tony Hawk's Pro Skater because, Abe, what's that thing that you like to say when you... Fuck you, fuck this video? No, no, oh. no, no. <laughs> nice. <Fuck> nice. <laughs> Although you have been saying that. Mm -hmm. Sick. No, no. When you encounter someone who plays video oh, games, oh, I was telling my uh, coworkers just the other day. I said, can I, "If I can interrupt a minute," I tells them, "I hate video games, mm -hmm. and I think you should sell your system and games mm -hmm. to you." Not, no, not to me. You I don't want them. them. You, okay, okay. I thought because you were saying that you want them to sell it, that you want. I want to buy them it. to sell them to whoever out there. You know, I don't even want them to sell. I just want them to get rid of them completely. No one else should have to receive them, and thus waste their time and energy wow. on video games. Listen, and so, I know. And so my coworker <laughs> says, "Should I sell it and buy a skateboard?" Yeah, and I said. You don't got to do that. I'll give you a skateboard. And I gave wow. her one today. And did she sell Holy her system? Applause, shit. people. Applause. Oh. And I gave her the skateboard today. I think this applause sign is broken. Yeah, it definitely is. That's why I had to say it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think I saw, like, one guy clapping just now. Yeah, we really need to get that thing working if anyone's going to clap at anything that Abe says. I'll just nudge you next time. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, usually you say throw your video games away. Sure, yeah, throw them away, sell them, just whatever you gotta do to get rid of them. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. I feel like you could recycle them. Sure. They're mostly plastic, right? Yeah, that might be the best uh, 
It might be the best choice for you and the environment. Oh, man. Skateboarding. I'm always looking for the best choice for mm -hmm. me. Rules. Save me from environment. Mm. Okay, well, so you're like a lot of people. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'd say I'm like everyone. Well, speaking of waste, did everyone have a good Christmas? Wait, yeah. hold on. Wait, I'm not done. Wait a second. I'm not done Nick here. Like, hold Just on. had to throw that whole sentiment in there. But I love elves and Santa, I want you to know. And happy fifth night, everyone. Yeah. Of Christmas? Shalom. Oh, oh sh of shalom. shalom. Okay. Shalom. All right. Mm -hmm. you know what? Shalom. So, you know, I remember back when I got Tony Hawk for a Christmas present, let's say. Mm -hmm. Whoa. But since it's entered this basement, I gotta say, I've been addicted to video games. Yep. And it's thrown the company into a downward spiral oh, that's no. leading it nowhere but into the toilet. Oh, yeah. See? Yeah, so you know firsthand. <laughs> uh, although I have been desperately trying to tweet to Tony Hawk about my various observations of his video game franchise, which mm -hmm. I have uh, had no luck in having him reply. Right. Why? It's out of his hands. It is out of his hands. But I, I have to make an announcement. Maybe. I think after we're done playing Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3, the last game made for Nintendo 64, we will ban video games in the basement. What the fuck? Wow. No EA Skate. Wow. Clancy's not going to like this. It's true, he won't. Oh, yeah, that's me. When I was a boy, I put away childish things when I got into skateboarding because I used to be an insane video game kid. And I was a big nerd. I still am. But I got rid of <laughs> my... And then I got super into skateboarding. And I, I gave my stuff to my brother. There you go. My video games. <clears throat> it's weird, though, because I never thought I would ever not be obsessed with video games. And then I just... I don't know. I just got into skateboarding. And then... What was the last video game you were obsessed with? Final Fantasy VII, dude. <laughs> <laughs> the ultimate video game. Nice. Yep. Yeah, that was my last big one. That I was done. But you Actually, know, though, I've gotten redrawn into video games again, though, because of virtual reality. Mm. Oh. I entered the Matrix. My yeah. cousin bought virtual reality, and I played for hours. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess this whole speech is for not because yeah. I started playing video games again. <laughs> Son of a bitch. But I only do it on the weekend. I don't own any video games. I play other people's video games. You see? Oh, okay. It's like, so more it's like a weekend bombing, warrior. No, I don't, it's like I don't bombing not, yeah, cigarettes. I don't buy cigarettes. Yeah, you just bomb them off other people, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And, you know, I don't want to, you know, this, I know that the FU crew, they love video games. Mm. D. Ostrander and, uh, you know, Bubby Beard. Oh. Shane Powell. Right. Matt Taylor. Everybody loves video games. Yeah, yeah. I think video games are a, a cultural phenomenon. Everybody likes So now everyone's yeah. going to think that we're a bunch of elitist pricks. No, but, I know what Abe is saying. I mean. Well. <laughs> I well, maybe they're them. right. <laughs> No, no they, they are, the are a big of waste time, of time. To quote Fisk, they're a thief of time. Yeah. But Fisk used to play video games tons when he was a kid too, and so he learned the hard way. I yeah. myself have even played GoldenEye. What? Oh my God! You heard it religiously. Here first, <laughs> you were a GoldenEye <laughs> addict. Was so good at it. <laughs> which, 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 speaking of, that was a. <laughs> yeah, freaking cheater. I was yeah, yeah, short. Yeah. Yeah. No, I like Jaws. I Dude, no, no Jaws, no odd no job. Those are the rules. Okay, yeah, know, we so, played right. one hit kills. Yeah, Dude, I played yeah oh license to kill. That's how you gotta play. Anyway, so yeah, so I do play Nintendo 64 with my brothers every holiday, and that's mm -hmm. the only time I play video games because that's the only common ground we have. So maybe video games do do some good. Yeah. I played you and your brother do Ross, it. and I got my ass kicked in you Mario got Kart. smoked! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Which I consider myself to be good at that one, too. Shout out to Ross and Todd Murray. It's Murray, don't worry, it's recording. I didn't move the cursor. Uh, okay, some technical uh, difficulties uh, with Marty's brain <laughs> and not trusting <laughs> us Listen, that we know man. what we're All doing. three listeners are going to hear your beautiful voice. I Don't know worry. Ableton Live. Dude. I know Live. I just Who uh, are those three listeners? Do we know who? I, I'd imagine Taryn Brown. Shout out to Taryn Brown. Uh, if you're listening. Taryn Brown. I know well, have you listened to one, Clancy? <gasps> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's alright. Podcasts aren't for everybody. They're kind of an acquired taste. It's for more... I don't know. Uh, Somebody. Uh, no, I was going to say intellectual crowds. Yeah, Somebody who's kind of. Uh, bunch. 
who kind of like a backdrop when they're working, I would say. Before you texted me about doing the podcast today, I was just eating lunch and listening to this couple next to me. I think they were a couple talk. And I was like, this is kind of like a podcast, except live. Oh, this God. is great. You just were and, but they were the they were kind of like quasi intellectuals. They were talking about politics and stuff. I'm like, Ooh, yeah. I'm learning a lot here. This is nice. Okay. Yeah. That's rare, but sometimes you can get a good. It was yeah. entertaining. Sometimes overhearing people's conversations is good. Usually it's terrible, but. <laughs> yeah. Well, the funny thing I picked up a couple funny things that like, you know, that normal people say when they're having a con- conversation, like they start to agree with what the other person is saying they'll kind of interrupt them and be like absolutely oh, abso- oh, oh absolutely absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. which I, is a good one it really mm-hmm. seems like you're engaged and you believe them mm-hmm. you're on I, their uh, side mm-hmm. I, I picked up a funny thing the other day actually it was a whoopee cushion wow <laughs> all right <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, fuck it. oh shit <laughs> So okay. you're saying <laughs> <laughs> Great. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. they're funny and they're a thing, Abe. Uh huh. Oh, sorry. Good job. A little too low brow <laughs> for you, right? <laughs> Good <Kind> job here. <clears throat> Alright, well uh keep it going there. <laughs> Let's just keep it going here. Let's keep it going. Abe, you want how do I you I love f- podcasts is what f- I'm trying to say. And if podcasts are just a digital version of eavesdropping on someone else's conversation exactly. mm-hmm. for your entertainment, yeah. then, you know, what's Better so wrong good. about that? <laughs> you guys oh. talk about Tony yet? Tony Hawk? We, that was yeah, what we God, opened Jack, it up you with. Shut the fuck I know. Up. You can't just walk in here and then just, wow. like, ask if we were talking about I love that something. game. <laughs> For those of you just tuning in, that was actually piece of shit Jack Rodolfo's voice chiming in. Piece of shit. AKA Jack, uh, Oh my gosh, guy. shut it up. Yeah. Rodolfo. <laughs> Legendary. Legendary guy. <clears throat> All right. Yeah. Uh, Someone call this guy an Uber. Yeah. <laughs> the guy who Ubers home every night two feet down Dude. the street. Two dollars? Two dollar Uber? That's as much as the bus uh, costs. A dollar per foot, I get it. Yeah. yeah. That's smart. But Abe, hey, I had a question yeah. for you. Oh. Shoot. <clears throat> so you just obtained a new sponsorship. You've been getting sponsored by a lot of different companies lately. Oh, it's it's been a whirlwind. Mm. Two thousand sixteen. They say it was a dumpster fire, but I don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> Wait, who are they? Who? The People guys. online. Oh, yeah. yeah. People online. They called the fire a dumpster online. fire? <laughs> yeah, 2016 was a dumpster <laughs> fire. Can't wait <laughs> for it to be <laughs> over, et cetera, et cetera. It's only going to get worse. <laughs> it's only going to get worse, so we got something to look forward to. Yeah. So how do you feel oh. about your teammate that won Skater of the Year? What's your opinion? My teammate. You have a crack? Kyle crack. Walker. Yes. yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait. Kyle Walker. See, I think he gets uh, paid by Vans Shoes. Available at your local Walmart. Really? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. Not yet. Oh. Whoa. Um, but whereas oh, I am a new yes. bro flow troll. Ooh. Nice. My Ew. beloved friend, Tin Tran, Aww. if you're listening. Uh, recently, bro flowed me, and I think oh. it's just that bro flow. I yeah. don't know if I, you know, legally, contractually represent Vans. Although I've been wearing their shoes, you know, for the past ten years or so. Oh, okay. So they kind of owe you. In a way, they do. Jack uh, rips the stripe off because he doesn't want to give him advertising. I also oh, wear the Thrasher hoodie inside out. Nice. Why'd you spend the extra money on the Thrasher hoodie? Yeah, it was true. like five okay. plus years ago. Okay. <laughs> that times were different. I had a subscription then. Mm. <laughs> no longer have that subscription. I tried to do that with Nikes, but then the stitching is still in the shape of the logo you're trying to remove, so it's mm. just like you care too much. There's the secret. Let me get <coughs> it on this shirt. Just sharpie out the stitching. Because oh. the white stitching, yeah? Well, here's the thing with Vans and why they're such an iconic shoe is... You don't need the stripe to know that they're Vans. Yeah, I got the red mm-hmm. little tag on the back. Yeah, you even you know. just buy that, yeah. So, Do you know, you can buy uh, Vans at Kohl's. It's like one of the first ever skate shoes I ever had. We're and Bob a, stores. We're, yeah, we're from Kohl's. Oh, no. I just got my XLTs there. Nice. I got DCs there when I wanted to be Rob Deerdeck back in the day. 
no. the Final Fantasy Factory. I could see that. Right? Well, I could see you hosting what ridiculousness. I was going to say, what with you and your ridiculousness? <laughs> Thank Have you, you seen this yeah, YouTube thanks. video? What's the, what's the deal with Facebook? <laughs> it's not a face. <laughs> it's not a book. <laughs> That's not bad. Oh, thanks. Do you mind if I use that? Um, the Rob Deerdick impersonation? Yeah. Or just the whole face. That was a really good uh, yeah, 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 I guess I do. All right. Yeah, I feel Too like bad. I'm watching an episode of Robin <laughs> Big right now. You think they're going to believe you <laughs> over no, me? No. Sorry? Sorry? Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, Kyle Walker is skater pro of the Thrasher year. Yeah, right. And the Thrasher year is different from the calendar year, as mm. everyone knows. You think he knows? Yeah. Goes by the Christian. Yeah, he won because he fucking yeah. hucks Christian down Thrasher big calendar. shit. And if you don't know, then. No, shut the fuck know. up. Just stop. <laughs> oh my god, Jack. Right. If you don't know about Kyle Walker, <laughs> just shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jack, for that information. No, but I watched you the... Know, he's joking, I but perhaps it. he's right, because, you know, I've seen that Waffle Cup commercial about a million times mm -hmm. where he grinds a ro that rail. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Frankly, I'm sick of seeing it. Boy, does he grind. It's an amazing rail, though. You know, and just the look no on that Waffle Cup's that face, so fucking smug. Uh, She's like, <laughs> oh, oh, awful cool. Hey, that's my Fucking teammate you're airy, talking about. No, no, Awfully? No. Come on, man. Oh, He's just he, doing his job. Is he also bro flow? Arrogant shit. Him? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, but he's got shoe. size like 40s on. He does. So. He's like Shaq. He's like Shaq. <laughs> why has Call no back one, to him. Why has no one um, objected to Vans Shoe, Skate Shoe Company having a mascot? A Shout. fucking team, like a like you're thinking like high school football game mascot. Yeah, waffle yeah like you were in high school, spot. dude. It's stupid, shots man. Fired, jock but shit. I think that, dude, I think it is the jock, jock might be on like to something. It more like a high school football. Team. Weren't you we Larry the Dancing Eagle back in high school? No. Yeah, you <laughs> no, he wasn't. Blue, blue suit. suit. My public he still puts on the head every Thursday. It's seven. I see it. We didn't have our school didn't have enough money to have a mascot, but I think it's insane. I saw a photo like. And he was in the background. That's funny you say your school didn't have enough money for a mascot, but you had enough money to buy a Thrasher hoodie to wear inside out. <coughs> Dude, what? the subscription was a Christmas <laughs> present. Okay. Oh. Well, happy holidays. Thanks. Cool. Cool. I think it's fine that you wear a Thrasher hoodie inside out. Sometimes you really just don't them. want it to say Thrasher. It's fine. Hey, it's a Let's damn deal. shame that Eric Winkowski didn't uh, win Skater of the Year. That's what I have to say. Damn right I is. agree. He's great. He is one of the best There was out no there way, right dude. The, and if he ever wants a legitimate answer. sponsor, no offense, Santa Cruz, mm -hmm. but something a little more on the cutting edge, Fancy Lad would be happy to have you, Eric. And let me just say, now that, uh, you know, I know that uh, Ryan Glant has, uh, you know, been getting some boards from Friendship, but quit Expedition 1, what do you think it'll take to scoop up Ryan Glant? I bet if you Ryan Glant it. rides for Fancy Lad. Just I, tossing that out well, there, Glant, if you're listening. I bet if you DM'd him. And? Just tell him you'll hey, make him a guest board just for life. fun, you know? Like, and? He'd probably be and down. I think he would say yes. Go. Yeah. Dude, it's no that easy. fucking way, man. <laughs> Unless I... that's true. Ryan. Ryan. <laughs> If that's true, just go ahead and just like all my photos. I think it's it's more Tom likely Tweet. that he's uh, <laughs> it's more likely that he would be sponsored by Fancy Lad than is even listening. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Ryan usually <laughs> listens to like usually every one that comes out. So who's to say he wouldn't listen to this one? Yeah. Oh. Well, okay. I usually I'm good I'm... friends with Ryan, and I know he watches them all. Well, I mean, he follow Ryan follows us on uh, really? Instagram. Yeah, really? What? Shout yeah. out to Ryan Glant for following out. us. Yeah, Thank you. Uh, yeah. at Shout, <laughs> out to Ryan Glant. Shout out to Ryan Glant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So picture this: we get Ryan Glant, mm -hmm. Jeremy Rogers, oh, yeah. Colin Fist. Yes. PJ Lab. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh. Oh, Nick Selfie. Murray. Nick Murray from the Boston Massacre video. Mm -hmm. Dave Vay. Mm -hmm. um, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. mean Mark Fallon. Yep. Oh yeah. Southie. Yeah, Todd shout Falcon. Out to Southie. Mention Southie. Todd Falcon. I like how Jeremy Rogers did give his shout out to Southie on. His, Does he uh, still skate for DC? Yeah. That yeah. That was That's nice. Nice. Uh, I'm back on. Yeah. I don't know what to Alexis. Wedges, all, all those wedgies probably made him mature. Anyway, you know? why weren't <laughs> you skater of the year, Abe? That's what I was trying to get at. Shit. I know. Shit. 
I wasn't even in the running this year. What the fuck is up with Damn. this bureaucratic bullshit? It's Jake Phelps. Yeah. Well, that's it's democracy so for you. Party? It's been a tough uh, election year all around. Yeah. 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 The the No. <laughs> the skate industrial complex. There we go. Uh, conspired against Abe. Jake Phelps being the king well, of the Well, Marty, maybe you can He's shed some maybe you can shed some insight because as I've mentioned to you and as you know you you never believed in fancy lights since day one. Oh but maybe yeah. because of your uh you oh. know insight. It wasn't that I didn't believe I had criticisms of the first video. You guys hadn't come into your own yet, you know. It was still a work in it's progress. It's true, we still don't we still try not to talk about the I first didn't video. really think you hit your stride until the New York edit is when I was really starting to be like, This is when it started to get good, dude. The New York edit. and then I was at the skate shop and Keith what's his face who skates for hops? He was like, I saw your friends, New York edit. He's like, That was fucking sick. And I was like, no. yeah, it was sick. I was just like, <laughs> that was the first thing you guys edited. So I was just like, so this you, is good. Oh, so I see. <laughs> you had to have somebody who skated for hops tell you it was good. So no, all we need no, is a cool no, guy no, to say that no, we're good, no, and then we'll no, be good. No. I thought it was good yeah. before that. I thought it was really good. Because it was different. It felt like that was like when you came up with a new concept or something. It felt different than the I other think, things. I think that's the first video I saw. From Fancy Lights. That's the first right. thing. Right. That well, was the I, first thing I, I was kind of like, oh, from, this is cool. I got stickers from Fisk at East Boston Skate Park, <coughs> and I had no fucking clue who this dude was, why he was giving me these weird homemade stickers, That's and crazy. what the fuck's Fancy Lab was. So I looked it up, and I think the New York video, edit, whatever, was the first video I saw. East Boston Skate Park, shout out to bostonskateboarder.com. Thank you yeah. for showing me how to get there. Ben <laughs> Kerrigan, if you're listening to this. Uh, nice website. Yeah, keep up the great work. That's keep the updates it? coming. Mm. Your 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 spot photos <laughs> saved my life. The photos of the spots oh, that saved my life. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. That someone provides that service. Marty, you'd yeah, say it's all a bunch of bullshit. Why can't you be more like Palace? Why can't you be more like Polar? <laughs> I didn't say that. They got people like who Palace. actually ride hard. He's putting words in my. We got hard riders. Take Kokubo. Okay. Who? Cam Lindsay. I like Polar, huh? but I didn't. Bob. Uh, I didn't say that you should be like Polar. Yeah, that's true. Polar I said you should use really the internet. Exist, then. Yeah, which you did. But, yeah, we started. Because <laughs> the first video you only wanted to release it on VHS, and I was like, "Well, that's cool," but I'm like, "No one's going to see it." Actually, no. It on Fisk wanted to release it only in Coke vending machines. On VHS. <laughs> yeah, that was a wild <laughs> scheme. <dude. laughs> For the record. <laughs> he was dead ass about that. Charging today, twenty bucks a pop. Yeah. How, 20 uh, bucks of pop. What was his plan know? to get those into the vending machines? Uh, yeah. His plan was Zacker's dad works for Coca Cola. <laughs> 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 there there five you go. vending machines. All so right, did say is what's no. in it for Zacker's dad? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's a busy man. You know? He's like, yeah, he wants know. to keep his job. <laughs> yeah. um, what? What? Soda do you think they would have removed from the vending machine to replace with the Mellow fancy yellow. lad? Video? I was gonna th yeah, I was gonna, or if Sierra Mist, but it's not that way. That's probably the number one seller. Yeah. Yeah. You remember yeah. Surge? Yep. Yes. Yeah. yeah. They made it again. <laughs> yeah, probably it's, it's good. back no, and it's good. watered down. What? Uh, <laughs> it's like cut. Fresca. Ah, oh, yeah, God, it sucks. It's terrible. Fresca was a fan favorite. I don't fucking talk about it. Dude, please. Fresca was cool. Just don't talk about it. Just stop. Oh, what? Grapefruit. Shut up. Oh, my God. Shut up. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, that's like almost seltzer water territory. It's not real soda. Mm. Ooh. What's wrong with seltzer? Seltzer is way okay, better you know than fresco to, to fresca. Sucks, no, I'd rather have dude. a seltzer than fresca. <laughs> Saying it, I like you're fresca. hearing it here first, people. <laughs> fresca fucking sucks. <laughs> if you like the fresca, fresca person ever said, next time you see stuff? me, just come up to me. Don't say anything. Look Punch me right in the face. Croix, yeah. It's, <laughs> it's not gonna happen. Like no one fucking yeah. likes it. <laughs> That's some hipster That's uh, Tom Tweak talking. In case want. anybody wants to take him up on that offer of yep. punch him in the face if you like Fresca. And if you need a, if you need a place to meet up for said punching, just DM me. Yeah. Meet him in the steel cage, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> oh, and Fisk. Meet him in the octagon. Hmm. So, yeah. New video. So, how far along? 
Kyle Walker, right? So oh, no more Kyle about. Walker. So, no more Kyle no, Walker. No, no, no. I want to hear about the <laughs> no, no, progress. No, no, no one even talked shit about him. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not over this. All right, all right, all right. Here's, how's this? Shit. How's this? Looks like he's <laughs> himself. Yeah. Wow. Well, that's, <laughs> that's I think heavy. Kyle Walker looks like he's kind of rad, dude. I'd talk to Kyle Walker. He looks like a nice guy. Okay. We got one. I like Kyle Walker. Sorry? I think he's sick. Like Great lizard. skater, though. He's fucking like a lizard. Lizard. Right. Yeah. A lizard. Good. No, a lizard. A lizard. Oh, okay. I don't know the guy. He's not a lizard. Definitely looks like a lizard, though. Yeah, I guess it is. He looks haggard, weed. but he's genuinely sick. I don't like rail skating, but I mean, I can't do it. Ew! So it must be good. I like that, but I mean, I can't do it. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> So, um, let's move it on. Let me just check my, uh, Rolodex here. So, Marty, what's next for Fancy Lad? I don't know. I'm not a very creative person. I Underwear. can't really oh, come on. Television. Underwear. Underwear. Artist. We know. Television. Underwear. <laughs> oh, yeah, Adult Swim. You gotta get on Adult Swim for real. That is the worst idea I've ever heard you say. <laughs> what? That's the worst idea. You'd be breaching into a whole different audience of people, which you already did with the clip. That's True. cool. Yeah, some random guy it makes all these... it to me today, actually. Really. I don't mind swim, skateboarding yeah. reaching into the like, a, diff a more broad audience as long as it represents skateboarding the right way, and that's what the clip did. It represented skateboarding the best way possible, and that's why I think people think it was cool, because a lot of people were just like, I didn't even know people skate like this. It was like a revelation to a lot of people. Especially people like my old girlfriend who just thinks skateboarding is insanely boring because like it's just guys doing the same thing over and over and over and over and over again. But then people saw that and they're like, I've never seen anyone do this, you know. Well, Marty, you mentioned that she was no, your ex-girlfriend. What happened there? I don't know. I'm a bad. I don't know. I'm not gonna go into that. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> I, I, I want you to know that you can share with with the it's podcast just, listeners with a couple of close friends anything and two to three hundred <laughs> listeners. No, I'm not going into that one. Dude. Was it your fault? Uh, yes. Was it? it was, <laughs> was not you? Not of you? course, <laughs> it's always the guy. No, no. Fault. From what from what Mark, Marty was saying about that, how it opened, it it, made, it was a revelation to a lot of normal people that don't skate, that really don't get skateboarding. It's, oh, I like skateboarding. Like I've seen a skate video. Whatever, whatever. But, but. Really, like, the tip of the iceberg is what most people see about skateboarding. It's the repetition, the landing things, big things, jockey kind of thing. Well, you know, it's like... Games, do tour, street league. But with with this clip and how many people saw it that don't actually participate in the heavy skateboarding, it's like they kind of get a taste for what's possible on a board and what people can gain from skateboarding. And so many non-skaters saw it, which I actually think was cool. That, yeah. like, tons and tons of... That probably got more non-skaters probably saw that clip than most, like, any any normal skate video. Like, Definitely. people who don't skate, but I think that's a cool thing. Well, Marty, let me pick your brain. What would the show be like? I don't know. Hopefully not like that Tyler, the Creator show, because that was a piece that of shit. So, wow, yeah, <laughs> boy, <laughs> the the it's no yeah. Eric Andre show. Hopefully more like that uh, Tyler. Which Perry also... Uh, <laughs> not a big most, more like Jackass. Say. Oh, I don't know. Jackass. Jackass. Okay. You can't do Jackass because it's like your important videos playlist on YouTube. It's like, that's yeah. covered. Jackass. Yeah. I guess now that I think about it, if you had to release stuff on a regular schedule, that would change everything. Because skateboarding is all about, like, you know, you just do it as, you just film as long as it takes, and then Jackass. you're just like, here's the product. There's no, like, set schedule where you're like, the video has to come out at the end of Thursday or something. It's not like that, you know? You it was just... a bi monthly thing. Uh, it's doable. Man, well, you know, it's like months. it's like I try. It's like the team manager of Fancy Lad Switchblade told me. Mm -hmm. yeah. I said, I you know. I said, you know, we're out there. We're trying to make great skate videos. And he said, you just a newsflash for you. You don't make skate videos. Whoa. You make something more than that Whoa. that people like. I don't know what it is, but you should ask Switchblade. What I it should is. ask Switchblade what yeah, it might is. Know. <laughs> I can yeah. text him right now. I have he's not upset. What do you mean yeah, yeah, by that? He's like, what are you talking about? He's asleep. <laughs> no, no, like, he's, he's asleep. <laughs> what? How do you? How do you know? Well, you know. I know he's asleep. Yeah, I I work with him. 
Yeah. Where? Yes. Ula Cafe? No, I fancy one. Yeah, shout out to Ula Cafe. Shout out to Ula Cafe, 99 cent hard boiled eggs. <laughs> you're, you're paying way too much for your eggs. No! <laughs> it's like $2 a dozen. Right. <laughs> yeah, but you can, I'm not you the can, one hard, hard boiling. Boil I'm for paying free. for the service, buddy, and the atmosphere. So, you know, I know uh-huh. I, I pine on this a lot that, you know, and I, Abe, you talk about it too, how we all work the dead end jobs. I call it a glorified lemonade stand. See, yeah, sure. I, that was a what? great way to put it. And, uh,. I call it the rat race. Jack calls it the rat race. And what I'm saying is, if Jeremy Rogers... <laughs> Wait, there are rats there? <laughs> Might as well be. Well, yeah. They, they're rats. Yeah, they work. Yeah, your, your co-workers. They, well, those are the rats. Well, yeah. Your I mean, have you seen... Wait, no, no. Well, the no, fucking... No, no, in no, a cafe? Wait, no, wait. Have you seen Rat Race the movie? Oh, yeah. Of course. Okay, so now you get it. Yes, now I get Talking it. Talking about um, the Another movie or, that will help you yeah, understand this concept is Waterworld. The one with Mr. Bean. Yeah, Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but the original isn't called Rat Race. Oh, it's a it's a mad mad, mad, mad world. Mad, mad yeah. world, yeah, yeah, it's good. You yeah. remember that? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. But, not yeah, as funny. Ab- and after the, he forgot the other that, one that, wasn't that that funny wasn't the either. Name of the oh, it's a mad 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 mad. All all I'm trying to say was, I mean, I listened to that podcast with Jeremy Rogers. He said that he turned down making a uh, uh, fifty grand a month and to start making a hundred grand a year off of his rap, and he's struggling and sometimes can't afford a latte at Starbucks. Damn. Really. <laughs> He's lying. You're about so both dumb. things. <laughs> <laughs> he must be spending his money really spending... uh, on other stuff than lattes. One at one point in his career, even when he had his best months, would he make that much money? Fifty grand a month? Yeah, he I said that. It. That's what Plan B were offering him when he quit. I don't believe that. You'd be surprised. Top dogs, top ten skateboarders in the world for a year. I mean, like within that year, people are paying you so much money. Jack knows. Yeah, Jack knows. He's really? one of the top dogs. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it sucks, I, but it's what it is. Maybe people on Nike, not even people on Nike. Stefan Janowski, they owed him like two G, 200 grand. They wouldn't give it to him. 200 mm. grand is nothing well, for That's them. a fat payment. For back royalties from how, his Yeah, shoe. but how much is Chet Childers making on Nike? How much does Anthony Papalardo have in checks due to him? Yeah. And Converse. I want to know the real conspiracy behind skateboarding and who really pulled the trigger to st- to end it, like to end cur- Stefan yeah. Jadassi's career. No, Daniel Castillo's. <laughs> but uh, oh, 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 that guy. Oh, who was he? Come on! Oh, I know. I thought you were talking about the figure in full. He was, was having a little trigger. I was trigger. just riffing. Oh, that was a oh, joke. God, I love I Daniel so Castillo, good, we're so sorry <laughs> about that tasteless <laughs> joke. That was horrible. And he's not the only skater that's been shot. Dave's eye teared up. Who else? I can't think of anyone. Well, a lot. Hold on. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so you have many examples. Let's hear some. Hold Brandon up. Beeble. Hold up. Yeah. Here you go. Probably Beeble, yeah. No, oh, wait, TK. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. TK. TK. Yeah. No, I'm, I think, uh, I'm thinking of uh, others. Uh, this is a good time to say free TK. Because he skates at Jake yeah. It's like right down the street from Jake Lund. He just went into McDonald's. Get some. I saw Brandon Beeble waiting in line. Like, you know what he bought? Nice. I saw Chad Fernandez online. <coughs> what would yeah. Brandon Beeble buy? Marty, McDonald's what's what's bitch. what's your best uh, <laughs> was, celebrity skate story? Uh, living out there in L.A. with the big wigs. <laughs> oh, I hate to do this, but I don't really have any. Oh, I saw Marty, Dylan Reader at a party. He was cool. He's really nice. I liked him. I was like, this kid is cool. Right. <laughs> R.I.P. Dylan Reader. He had sick Reader. style. Was like, he had like like little yin yangs like painted on his nails. I was like, that was cool. Jack cried. <laughs> yeah, he was cool. Yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was heavy hit. Man, he's fucking sick, man. Yeah. When I was in L.A. hanging out with you, that's when uh, I, last summer, or two summers ago, that's when I uh, heard that he was dying. Yeah, and I remember we up. immediately watched his Gravis part, and I was like, "This kind of does seem like a posthumous part already." Really, wow. the way that it's edited in the music, Don't and ask very me. cinematic. It's kind of a um, sentimental <laughs> part, or something, or not sentimental in a bad way, but it's kind of no, like, yeah, no, that it I is love not in a bad way. Sacred. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> dude, yeah, that's what's that's Jack talking it's about? It's the song. Oh, uh, he's talking about his Gravis part. Dude. Yeah, yeah you're singing the cherry part. Oh, <coughs> fuck. Yeah, you're wrong. I'll, yeah, st- I'll see yeah. myself to the tour. Yeah, we'll Jack. <laughs> Jack. Wrong part. Or I'll just turn on the I N64. just realized like, it smells dude, like no, no. No. recording studio. <laughs> no. What? what? Puff took a dump down here like... Clance, you're a great addition to the podcast. It's like a shrug. It smells like 
All right, on that note, how about we take a break? <laughs> we'll be back after this we message should, we from should, our um, sponsors. They've got a cardboard box should, that projects. Before we things. do that, we should take a quick break, though. All right, but I know what Tom's saying, but even let's back it back up it a up. little bit yeah. even beep, before that. Beep, beep, beep. We beep. should take a quick break. Yeah. Well, let's just take a break now. It, it we'll... doesn't even have to be that quick. I mean, we can just edit it to be like a quick. quick break. To be let's quick, just come, yeah. Just... Oh, so you want it to be a long break? Yeah. Wait, yeah, are we still recording? So, like, Tuesday? <laughs> all right, Tuesday yeah, good for everyone? Just... Actually, yeah, we could finish this thing up what? anytime, really, next week. Yeah. All and right. then edit it like it's a quick break. <laughs> and the quick break starts now. It's been... <laughs> 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 Hello, loyal listeners of the Fancy Lad podcast. Now, at this time, you'd usually be hearing an amusing commercial filmed by one of our many sponsors. But this is your host, Big Nick Murray, telling you that there will be no commercial this week. Instead, I will bring you... Oh my god! (laughs) Jesus Christ! Tony! Why? What the fuck? (coughs) Holy shit, what happened? Oh, the the light fell! All right, anyway, the, the point being is that there's no commercials. This is part one of the podcast. Part two is to be continued. I'll see you next week. Bye. <laughs> what, what the fuck happened there at the end with the fucking thing and the other thing? Oh, <coughs> oh fuck. <what> <laughs> Until next time.